This is Great Gaia Goddess, and I'm making pork roast in Perlo. This is a recipe that has been handed down through generations of our family. Um, I have done genealogy for over 30 years, and this I have been able to trace back to the early 1800s, and um, this was handed down through uh, my grandmother uh, Dobbins, who was um, born in South Carolina in Georgetown County, and her family originated from that area, Williamsburg County, Georgetown County, and um, so this is where we got the uh, recipe. I have a pork shoulder here, and uh, I have uh, salted, peppered, and uh, now I am dusting with um, flour. This is a very basic recipe, and I have in our family pot, oh, old, if from the 50s, 40s, 40s, early 50s. And this was my mother's. And I have just a tad of grease in the bottom. Now, in the old days, they would have used lard. I am not going to do that. So, here we go. We're, I'm going to put it into my um, Dutch oven. And I am going to sear this over on all the sides. That's um, front, top, bottom, and all the four sides. So whenever I get this done, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. And I have seared off my roast. And I took some of the drippings out and put them in a bowl. I don't want a lot of grease in this. Now I am going to... Just one minute. Get my onions. And sorry about that. And I'm going to put them in the rest of the dripping. And I'm going to caramelize these. We're wondering what perlo is. Back in the low um, country of South Carolina, this was in Georgia also, they would um, have lots of rice, of course, because that's what they grew. And uh, so they would make this dish, pork roast and perlo. Um, and uh, what I'll be doing is putting in uh, water after I put my roast in in a little bit. And it will cook in all of this, in the onions. And um, whenever it's finished, then I'll take out the roast and I will uh, make rice with the drippings. This is a very rich dish. So. When we get to that, I'll show you how how we always uh, made it not so rich because it can be extremely rich. This was one of those dishes. I never saw my mother cook anything in this pot but pork roast and perlo. And um, all of us kids would just, oh, this was our favorite dish. We didn't have it very often. And um, I am so glad I get to show um, how to make this. All right, whenever I get this caramelized, I will uh, get back with you. Okay, I'm back and I have already uh, put my little grate in the bottom of my pot. I've got my pork roast on top of that. And now I'm going to pour in 
my water. This is just so simple. Now I am going to put my car caramelized onions on top and around. Kind of like to spread it out a little bit. Get that flavor in. Now I'm going to flavor the uh, broth and I'm going to put in just salt and pepper. Like I said, this is this is it that's going to be going in until it's fully cooked and then I'll put the rice. So I'll get back with you whenever we're ready to do the rice. I forgot to tell you one thing. I've already salt and peppered the broth and now we cover. And this will cook about, just depending on what size, probably about three hours. All right, I'll be back shortly. All right, I'm back again. I've got my roast out. And while I was doing my roast, there's my no need bread. Have to have that. So what I have right here is my broth. And I tasted my broth, and it's doing pretty good on the, it's not real greasy. And I was very thankful for that. So I want to make um, four cups of rice. So I am going to add water to my broth. This will cut down, boy that was perfect. Couldn't have done that any better. Um, added water to it so it's not going to be so rich. Um, now, this already has salt. It has pepper. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to add, that's four cups of broth. Two cups of rice. Sorry about shaking. Give it a stir. And I'm going to bring it up to where it boils. Everybody knows how to make rice. When this starts boiling, I'll put the lid on and then I will turn it down to a very low setting. And then we will have... Um, Whenever it's finished, we, it will be perlo. So I'll be back when it's finished. All right, this is the finale. There's the pork roast. The perlo is surrounding it. No need bread and green beans. I know you're going to love this. I hope you try it. Everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.